Hi, I'm Don Baluch. I'm the construction technology instructor here at Kansas City, Kansas Community College. Today we're going to review the principles we went over in class on uh, stair layout. Uh, we are actually going to just do the problem on the board. Uh, we'll lay the stairs out in the classroom or in the shop when we get to that particular point. The first thing that you need to know when doing a stair layout is the total riser height. If this is the top floor and this is the basement floor, then we need to know the distance to the top of the floor to the basement floor. Or if it were a deck, that distance from the top of the deck to the ground. Uh, for this example, we're going to make this simple. We're going to make this 70 inches. Okay, with 70 inches in mind, the next principle that you have to consider that we've already talked about is the 7. 7 is the uh, benchmark that we want to use for the individual riser for each stair. So you take the total height and you divide it by 7. That will give us 10. Okay, 10 is the number of risers for that particular staircase. Okay, you then take the number of risers and you divide that back into the total height that we had to convert. So once again, we had 70. We have a total number of 10. This was a pretty simple one. We are going to end up with 7. So our riser height is going to be 7. So when we lay out our stairs, we're going to come up 7 inches. We're going to come over the tread width, which is usually 10 and a half. We're going to come up 7, over 10 and a half, up 7, and we're going to do that till we have a total of 10 rises. Obviously, if this riser height was a different dimension, then we may not come out with an exact number. We'll change this just to see that for this particular principle. If we change this to an 80, then we're going to come over here and change this to 80. We're still going to get 1, but we're going to have 10 left over. So 7 goes into 10 once, and we're going to have point. Uh, decimal point after that. So what we need to decide, 7 times uh, 4 is 28 with 2 left over. So we have 11.4 as the particular dimension we need. This has to be a whole number, so we'll want to tell ourselves it's going to be 11 or 12. If we use 11 as the number and we change this to 80 again, then we have to figure how many times that's going into there to get this distance right here. Well, 7 would be 77 with 3 left over. If I change this to 12, so this is a 7 plus, if I change it to my other figure, which is the 12 that I had over here, we want to see what it's going to be. Well, if we go 6, that's 72 with 8 left over. These two dimensions we want to consider back to our code, which is 7 inches. 7 inches is what the code book's telling us that our height of our tread should be, our riser should be. So this one is really closer, so we will use the 11 
as the number of risers, this distance then would be whatever answer we came up with here. And it would be if it were seven and an eighth, then each riser height would be seven and an eighth. So once again, the basic principle of figuring riser height so that you can lay out the stairs.